Great morning, Facebook family. Great morning, YouTube family. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. This is your Empowerment Igniter, Valerie Burrell, saying good morning to you. I'm preparing for, prepared for an empowering Friday, the day that the Lord has made, a day to rejoice and be glad, a day. <laughs> this is the day. I woke up full of excitement for who God is, what God is doing. Good morning to you, Heather. God bless you. I'm excited about, just excited. I, I can't pinpoint, pinpoint one thing that I'm excited about more than another, but I'm excited. I'm excited about who God is um, in my life. I'm excited about who God is in yours. Um, I'm just excited. And I wanted to come by this morning just to encourage, to empower, um, to enlighten um, and to thank those of you who have who have been instrumental, who were instrumental in the fulfillment of our Kenya assignment, uh, the Women's Conference in Elder at Kenya, where myself and Kelia Gross went and did what the Lord wanted us to do. And I am forever grateful. There are so many people that gave towards this effort to make this a success, that it would be wrong of me to call names because <laughs> I'd probably forget someone's name. But I want to, um, I do want to acknowledge a few people moving forward. Um, and that's Kelly's parents, Jessica, and her husband and their ministry, their outreach ministry and Empowerment Place Ministries. Um, the entire team. Um, we want to thank uh, Kelly's church and Lord forgive me because I forgot the name. We were talking about it the other day, um, but just instrumental, instrumental financially and in prayer uh, for the success of this mission. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. So um, yeah, the, the scripture that the Lord laid on my heart that sort of speaks to where I am and what he's doing in my life is in the Psalm 37, 23, that says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and delighted in his way. The steps of a good man, one man are ordered of the Lord, are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in the way. <sighs> this, 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 this assignment in Eldoret, Kenya, was my third trip to Africa. Back in 2013, I was in Tanzania, had a, an amazing, a, amazing time. In 2014, in the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, where I visited and ministered in Lumbumbashi and Kosumbalesa. And this time going to Eldoret, Kenya was uh, life-changing eye-opening, God-moving um, in ways that we did not anticipate, but we went as vessels to honor God, to do what God wanted us to do, and the Lord had his way. It's amazing and, and humbling that we here in the United States who have so much, who have so much that we have a tendency to take the small things for granted, but when you go into an area that is not um, blessed to have running water, when you go into an area where you're not blessed to be able to get up in the middle of the night and just walk to your bathroom or walk down the hall to the bathroom and you've got to go outside and use uh, a facility outside, um, in the middle of the night, in the dark, <laughs> and and you just, that's what it is. It's different when um, you can't go to the faucet and run water with a filter to get a drink that you have to wait for a bottle. Um, it's different when you have to go to the well and pull a bucket of water to do anything. It's different when you see these people who have so little be so grateful, be so grateful, be so grateful that they don't mind giving God a praise. 
they will dance, they will they will dance, 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 dance. They will dance circles around you. <laughs> they will. They'll dance circles around you. They will uh they will praise and dance and shout and do all those things. And there were days that I just looked, I just looked in amazement at how how and, and it broke my heart first. I went through so many emotions. I, let me just say, I went through so many emotions on this trip because I'm a stickler for time. Like I like to start things on time. Those who are part of Empowerment Place Ministries know that when I say we're going to do it at a certain time, we got a very small window and we start, right? But here, because our steps were ordered by God, God allowed me to just sort of slow down and see things a little differently. Our main focus for this assignment was a women's conference and to visit and aid children in an orphanage. And I bless God that we were able to do that. But when we got there, we were greeted by uh, several carloads of people who were excited. We get to the house, we relax, we eat, we rest, and then we start with our itinerary for the days that we're gonna be there. Unbeknown to me, um, there was a graduation the, the second day, okay? And so I'm informed that Valerie, um, you're here, so you're gonna be the graduation speaker. Okay, I can do that. And the Lord gave me a word quickly. We moved forward. And they said, well, on Sunday, you'll be preaching. Okay, I got it, God, we got this. And on Sunday, the Lord blessed. And I was able to minister and minister one-on-one -on -one to some very powerful people to help them see truth. And I was like, God, this? And he's like, yeah, this is what, this is what we're going to do. And so it was time for the graduation. When we get there, and graduation was supposed to start at one time. And, um, you know, it was time. And, and they were still doing stuff and moving slow. And taking their time and moving slow. And I'm going, Lord, what are we doing? Like, we're an hour behind. What's going on? And he said, Valerie, just watch. Just listen. Just watch. Just listen. And I did. I watched. And I listened. And I watched. And I listened. And uh, about an hour or so later, here comes this parade these women in their caps and gowns, their banner, and they're walking through the market, down the road to the church, over rocks and bumps and clay, in their heels and sandals and whatever else, singing song, giving God praise, because this was the inaugural class of a sewing class that where they're learning to make dresses and have their own business and and be independent. And we rode in the car in front of them. They were behind us singing and dancing and blowing horns and people were stopping to celebrate them. And when we got to the church and I just looked at them and I said, God, wow. Here I was ready to get started and I'm bothered by time. And when I stop and really look at the moment about how this is life changing for them. Like this is monumental for them. God, I see now why it was okay to just wait a while. Wait for them to get themselves prepared to come forth to allow the world to see that although there are limitations there, the education system limited, their ability to get wealth limited, but God, but God, here was an opportunity that these women are learning how to make clothes, to start their own business, to start getting money on their own, to be able to make it. I challenged them with the message at that graduation. What's next? Challenge them to write the vision and make the pain with them the tablets that men may see it and run with it. I challenged them not to stop that this was just the beginning of what God wanted to do. I challenged them to do more. 
as God enlarges their territory, as God opens up opportunity for them to live and to thrive. Thank you, Michelle. It was amazing. Sunday service, powerful. But then we get to the women's conference, which was the heart of why we were there. That and, and seeing those babies in that orphanage. I'm telling you, oh God, the beautiful children that just watched you, they just looked at you. And it was so cute watching them with Kelly because she's fair skinned and she's soft hair and they just wanted to touch her skin and stroke her hair. And they wanted to know, wow, she's different, but she loves us. She's embracing us. She's she's doing, oh, wow. They were just, it was amazing. And, and they just wanted love. And I think about the fact that we have many children here in the United States too, that are part of a system and, you know, they have some benefits and they have someone taking care of them, but whew, broke my heart. <laughs> Y'all broke my heart to look at these babies and you just wanted to grab them up and be like, Oh, I want to take them home. I want to take them home. I want to take them home. But of course we couldn't, but we could leave love for them. And we did. We loved up on them. And so we say thank you to each and every person who gave um, towards the children. We gave um, clothing, to the women, we gave jewelry to the women, we gave treats to the children, we gave toothbrushes, we gave. Uh, we generally, yeah, pretty much. Most of what I took to Africa, I left in Africa. I went with two solid bags, I came back with one. <laughs> it's just what it was. Because I, I realized, we both realized that we have an abundance here. We have an we have an overabundance here. That we have options day to day, and these people have little or none, but are grateful. And so, look, I'm not trying to paint a picture that they whoa 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 was them. No, blessed they are. Blessed they are that they know God, that they serve God, that they're trusting God for change, and I'm just grateful that we were able to be instruments, vessels used by God to make a difference in their lives. When it came to the conference, the conference was Women of Excellence, right up my alley, right? Right up my alley. And I'm so grateful because Kelly and I, we were in sync the entire time. What Holy Spirit was speaking to her in her room, he had already given me a, a, a backup and, 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 a, and, a, and a companion um, in my room. And so we, we talked about mindset. We talked about purpose. Uh, we talked about fear. We had a powerful session where we got rid of fear, where everybody is um, writing down those things that they fear most. I took those things, we prayed over them, and then we took them to the fire. Yes, we did. We took them to the fire and we burned them. Yes, we did. We burned fear and people rejoiced and became excited and were even overcome that they were able to come and testify that ah, I let it go. I let it go. And it was powerful to see that move of God where things that had held them captive for so long, they were now releasing and trusting God. Why? Because we know that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And so the mindset was something that we talked about every day, renewing your mind, having the mind of Christ, not being concerned about what the enemy would do, but being concerned about what God has planned for you. And oh my God, it was amazing to see the transformation in the lives of the women, to see their faces brighten up, to see their countenance change because now they had hope. It was powerful. It was powerful. We talked about uprooting things that have been in the closet. We dealt with fear. We dealt with uprooting generational things, um, our wrong mindsets. We dealt with those things because we wanted these women to be free to know that they are truly women of excellence. And I believe that with the seeds that we planted through the aiding of the Holy Spirit, change is taking place even now. Even now, change is taking place place. It was powerful. It, it was it was life-changing for me. Every time I've ever gone to Africa, when I come back, I come back a little bit more fired up, a, a little more ready to move forward in what God has called me to do. Uh, just a little more excited and grateful to God for all that I have. 
when I look at what these women, these men, these families in Eldoret, Kenya did not. There's much, <laughs> there's much, there's so much. I've got funnies, I've got sads. <laughs> But I wanted to come on today just to say thank you to you all, to let you know that every seed that you sowed mattered. Every prayer that you prayed for us mattered. We needed it. We needed it. We're in the process now for those women who are English speaking, uh, we're in the process of putting together a shipment. People have been sowing um, so that we can send them a copy of the new book, Let's Dip, to help them discover, define, and develop their individual purpose so that they're able to walk in what God has called them to. It's our prayer that we will have that list of names by Sunday, and I will make a shipment on Tuesday to Eldoret, Kenya, to the women of that community to help them walk in purpose. If you want to be a part of that, you can. You can inbox me, you can buy your copy and buy a copy for them as well. Um, and we're gonna send it. The, the cost for the Kenya copies will be $10 and not 20. Um, because I'm just covering the cost of shipment. Everything else I'm giving. Um, but if you wanna be a part of the Kenya project to allow the women in Eldoret to dip, the cost of the book will be $10. Okay, I'll do that too. And Holy Spirit said, if you do a dip copy for Kenya and you don't have a dip copy of your own, you can get a dip copy for 10 as well. Again, y'all know I'm not in this for the money. I'm here because God has given me, he's empowered me with tools to help people get to their next place in him. Okay, thank you. Thank you. For those who are donating, um, um, I'll put my cash app and PayPal in the comments that you can do that. But um, I just want to be a blessing to those who are ready for movement. We, Kelly and I, our mom, all those that are connected, Jessica, we just want to be a blessing to those who are ready. And I've received messages from women who have said they've been empowered. They're saying, please mentor me. Please help me. Um, I want to move forward in the things of God. And we're going to do our part by providing them with the tools. It was powerful. You know, I wrote books and, and, and the books are, are precious to me. But, you know, when I can teach from I'm ready to roar to all of those who contributed to I'm ready to roar, when I was able to teach out of that each day, teach something from I'm ready to roar and they got it. I was like, wow, God, thank you. Thank you. And then to, to release from let's dip and they got it. I said, God, thank you. This is what it's about. This is not about Valerie doing what Valerie's doing, but this is about making a change in the life of many. Isaac, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, Isaac, who's um, who's watching right now, um, was my translator. Powerful, wonderful man of God who aided us while we were there. Um, we are grateful to um, Apostle Chris and his family who took care of us so wonderfully, but man, wow, I'm telling you, the work is not done. It's not done. We know that doors are being opened for greater work in Africa. There's already conversation of another conference next year, possibly a citywide conference working with the ministerial association in that region to minister to all pastors and all leaders of the church to aid them in understanding kingdom principles, kingdom, kingdom, hallelujah, kingdom, not just religion, not just church, not being worried about what a, a demonic force is doing because we have power over them, but giving them kingdom tools to transition into what God would have them be and do. And so we're excited. We are super excited about who God is, about what God is doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Super excited. Um, and we just look forward to doing more, doing more, doing more. 
I just put my cash app down there, dollar sign VB Empower. And I'm also putting my email, empower underscore yourself at yahoo.com. If you want to use PayPal, you can use that email. But again, if you want to contribute to the Let's Dip Eldoret project, you can purchase a book for $10 um, to go into the shipment going on next week. And um, if you don't have your copy of Let's Dip, you can get your copy today for $10 as well. That's what I'm doing. So I say thank you again to each one of you. Continue to keep me, Kelia, all those others who are doing our foreign mission, international ministry in Africa, keep us in prayer. You know, one of the leaders asked ask us um, when day one, with everything that's going on in the world, with COVID, um, you know, what made you come? What made you come? And I didn't have to, I didn't have to think twice about it. I didn't have to. I didn't have to do any of that. I knew, I knew I was, I knew I was there. I knew I was there because God said, go. We never hesitated. You know, we had family members and friends um, that were like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we know that we had an assignment from God. We know that we had to go and do what it is that God says do. So he was like, wow, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's God. And it is. It's all God. It's all God. All that we did was God. All that we endured was because of God. All that we're going to do in the future will be led by God because our steps are ordered. I told um, I told one of the ministry leaders because she was adamant that something was going to take place. And I had to let her know, ma'am, there is no voice greater in my ear than the voice of God. I won't do what you want me to do because that's what you want me to do. I'm going to do what God said. That's it. Period. In the discussion, there's no maybe, there's no please, there's no no. If God says it, yes. If God didn't say it, then the answer is no. <laughs> End of discussion. And I guess they were like, wow, she really means, yeah, man, we, we don't have time to play. We don't have time to pass up our people. We don't have time to just do because people say do. We have to be intentional, y'all. And we have been intentional in fulfilling this assignment in Eldoret, Kenya, with the women's conference with Pastor Chris and his family. Um, women of excellence. Praise God. Women of excellence, they were when we got there. But women of excellence, they certainly were when we left. Empowered by the word of God. Empowered by the presence of God. Empowered by truth that now aids them in moving forward in the things of God. So again, I say God bless you to each of you. Thank you so much for all that you've done. Please con continue to keep us in prayer as God is continuing to move. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Continue to keep us in prayer for the doors that God is opening. Um, I have people who have said, you know, Valerie, when you go again, I want to go. And I laughed. I told some of my friends, I said, that's good. You, that's good that you got heart that you want to go, but you can go. <laughs> Cody, you, this is not for everybody. Can I just let you know? It's not for everybody. You might have the heart to do it. You might think that you're equipped to do it, but you got to be called to this. You really have to be called to this. Your steps really have to be ordered for this work because it's, it's challenging. It presents opportunities. And you got to be so grounded in God that you can't be moved. You got to be like the tree that's planted by the river of water. You got to be. You got to be. You got to be able to endure. You got to be. You got to be. You got to be. You got to be. So I say again, I love you all so much. I pray that this small segment has given you a glimpse of my experience. Um, certainly for anybody who's interested in, in some of my giggles. In my wiggles, <laughs> you can inbox me and we can have a conversation. But I just bless God. I bless God for what he did. I bless God for what he's doing now. And I bless God for what is to come because I know that greater is on the way, that we've not seen anything yet, that those women that we had the opportunity to minister to in Eldoret, Kenya, are change agents 
for the kingdom of God in that region and that God is certainly going to do great exploits through them. So I say be empowered, my brothers and sisters. I love you so much. Be back on the on, on Facebook Live tomorrow at 9 a.m. with Pastor Linda Brown for spiritual breakfast. So if you're free, join us tomorrow morning at 9 and let's see what the Spirit of God has to say to you and to me. I love you all so much. Be empowered. Have a great day.